Hi, my name is Daylin Richards, and for my thesis work, I'm exploring a new technology that has the ability to perform microsurgery on the genome to repair mutations in the genetic disease that I study called PKU. PKU is the most common inborn error of metabolism, and it's caused by mutations that make the PAH enzyme non-functional. Now, we need this enzyme because to metabolize an essential amino acid that we consume in our diet called phenylalanine. Now, phenylalanine is in everything we eat, from meat and cheese to pasta and even Diet Coke. So for people with PKU where this enzyme doesn't work, phenylalanine rises to toxic levels causing severe neurological symptoms. Thankfully, this disease is on the newborn screening panel. So patients are identified early and placed on a phenylalanine restricted diet which does a really good job at ameliorating more of the severe manifestations of the disease, but not all. But this is a standard of care for PKU, to maintain this phenylalanine restricted diet for their entire lives. And let me tell you, this diet is tough. It requires constant phenylalanine calculations, supplementation with expensive medical food and formulas that are not covered by insurance, not to mention the psychosocial challenges these patients face on a daily basis. So it shouldn't surprise you at all when I tell you that most of these patients do go off diet and they suffer these severe neurological consequences. So when I joined my lab that focuses on improving therapies for people with PKU, I really wanted to take the bull by the horns and tackle this at the DNA level. And that's where this new technology comes in. It's called the CRISPR-Cas9 system. And you can think of it like a doctor performing surgery, where the doctor's hand guides the scalpel and tells the scalpel exactly where to cut. Well, similarly with this system, there's a guide RNA that directs the Cas9 enzyme to a specific area of the genome in close proximity to the mutation site, at which point the Cas9, or our scalpel, will then cut the DNA. Now our cells do not like cut DNA. So the alarms start sounding and all of the DNA repair machinery in the cell is brought to this location. and. As a part of this system, we also supply a repair template that has a correct sequence of the DNA. So the cell's own machinery will then perform construction and incorporate the correct sequence of the DNA into the genome, resulting in a Cas9 media repair and a functional enzyme. So for my thesis work, I have packaged this Cas9 system into a small, non-pathogenic virus, and I've injected it into a PKU model mice in the laboratory. Now, we are currently undergoing analyses, but please stay tuned next year for our very exciting results. Thank you very much.